welcome and well met. I am the Quonset Manager, and you are watching the second installment to the Bear Island Tourist Information Kiosk video series. We will be exploring the island in search of a man named Trombley, or his remains. Today we have located a set of human remains below the old destroyed Firewatch Tower. It's curious as to what happened considering that he is flat on his back and his head is embedded in the snow. How does a man wind up in this position? I suspect the cliff behind him has something to do with it. Let's take a look. Here we find an overlook, and next to a protective barrier, we find a backpack and a grape soda. Back down on the body, we find a bullet, but no gun. The backpack is rather mundane. Could this person have been chased up here and jumped off the cliff to escape? Normally the wolves do not come this way because of the bear that claims clear cut. And the bear is rather slow and easily outrun. One might not expect to have to run that fast to escape his clutches. However, that all said, perhaps there was a blizzard and he just stumbled over the edge in the snow. But if that is the case, why was he found face up and not face down? Why was his backpack on the ground, up by the protective barrier? No, I fear the answer is a rather simple one. I believe this individual was heading up the trail to the top, and he stopped at this point at the overlook for a rest. There, he pulled out a grape soda from his pack that he just set down on the ground, and he leaned back against the railing. That is when the railing gave way. Here we have a test of my theory. I stood in the exact same position and walked backwards off the cliff. And while my best efforts to die in the same fashion as he did never happened, I suppose that's because I didn't fall in quite the same direction as him. Better luck next time, I suppose. Looking around, I cannot find any sign of a plague mask in the area, so I think we can safely conclude that this isn't Trombley. We may never figure out who this person was, and such a senseless death as well. Or perhaps his death can serve a purpose, perhaps a concern as a warning to others. The moral of our tale? Always be mindful of your environment. Thank you for stopping by the Bear Island Tourist Kiosk. Be sure to stop by the Quonset Garage if you find yourself needing any supplies. Just remember our motto, Quonset Garage, where the water is always free.